Whoa. Whoa. So this episode here, <laughs> we're going to show you guys everything we ate while we were camping. So make sure you guys go check out the original video, which we'll put in the description down below. Also, we, uh -huh. we were... We got attacked by bees. We did. So make sure you guys go watch that on the Crunch Bros. But for now, this episode, make sure you guys go check out our first camping episode. Because that was more about like what we did. But it was mainly about Crunch Mom. She answered a lot of your questions on there. And this one's all about the food. So you guys are going to see what we ate. And what you guys suggested. What we picked off of what you guys suggested. So make sure you guys watch all... All the videos. Yeah. All right, so this is the beginning of the video, guys. Stick around. Check out what we ate. We'll see you guys at the end. Crunch Bros. Crunch Bros. So we're going to make bacon right now. I'm going to make um, breakfast burritos. So stick around. Oh, that's cool. And then... What are you guys making? All right, so now I'm gonna cook some eggs. <laughs> All right, you guys will just have to see it from there. It's kind of an odd angle. Doing it this way kind of creates like really fluffy eggs. Okay, and then let's go check on our potatoes. Look at that. Ooh, it's getting nice and crispy on the bottom. Check those out. All right, check it out. So we got bacon, cheese, eggs, potatoes, or hash browns, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to wrap them up. I'm going to put it back on the griddle so it gets a little toasty. And Jordan's sandwich is done. Or Jordan's burrito is done. All right, check it out, guys. It's wrapped up. You guys see it? Mmm. Mm. 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 The bacon, eggs, cheese. That's pretty good. Oh, look it. And I made French baby a breakfast quesadilla. So she could have a breakfast quesadilla no. with cheese. No. Uh. No. No. You gotta eat breakfast. Uh. She doesn't want it. Uh, where are you going? Don't run away from me. She ate it. The world's tiniest bite. She got nothing but tortilla. Where are you going? Water. All right, so we're going to finish up breakfast. Oh, are you okay? Oh. All right. So we're going to finish up here. It's getting pretty hot, guys. So maybe we'll play with water or go on a hike and then play with water. I'm not too sure yet, but we'll see you guys when we do. Um, we just got back from our little playground slash dancing on the stage. We'll put, I'm sure you guys just saw it. Um, but we're gonna be doing a mukbang and you guys have been asking us for this and you guys left, left us suggestions on our video. And so we are doing taco night. We're doing tacos and burritos, camping style. Um, we got these, oh, whoa, you guys fell down. We got these from this thing called a panda, a cooking panda box, cooking panda box. Um, long story short, they sent us a box. We opened it, these were in there. You guys suggested a taco and burritos. It was like, a match made in heaven. It was really, it's perfect. So we're gonna be doing this. I have um, the chicken, and I got the chicken here in a bag. Chicken, pollo asado, and then I have the steak, it's still in here. I have the steak, I'm gonna marinate this. We're gonna marinate it for about a couple hours, and then we'll throw it back into our fridge, and then we're gonna cook it up, so you guys will see us cooking it, and then eating it, we're gonna do that on the Crunch Bros. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mm. He got my butt. <laughs> he got my butt. You better watch out. I'm going to get your butt. You better watch out. I'm going to get your butt. We're getting lunch ready. And we're cooking. 
rice. All right, so we're gonna get that rice going so we can have some lunch. We'll probably end up uh, making onigiri, yaki onigiri. That'll be good. All right, guys. So they're back from their little excursion to the supermarket. I guess they went and got like a bunch of junk food and ice cream. But it's cool. It was hot, so it was nice for Jordan to get out of the sun. Kaya took a quick little nap. But right now I'm just finishing up making lunch. If you guys want to check it out. Yes, I'm using my hands. They're clean. Ish. They're clean. We're making rice balls. Ooh. We're making onigiri. And then grill some on the grill. And then we'll grill some on the grill. Good call, Crunch Mom. And then some of them have tuna mayo in it. Some of them have furikake on it. And some will just be basic with shoyu. Maybe a little furikake on there. It's like onigiri roulette. Kinda, yeah, it's kinda. But there's nothing bad. They're all good. And then you gotta just form it into these tiny triangles. Cause that's kind of like the traditional shape of these guys. I mean, if you don't know how to make it this way, you can pretty much just make them into a ball. But balls aren't fun. Triangles are fun. Bam. All right, let me finish up. Gonna make a couple more. And then let's throw them on the grill and we can grill some up so that some of them have like a crispy exterior. And Oh, how did the rice turn out? Oh yeah, the rice turned out really good. Did you tell them you were uh, Oh, so we were questioning my water method? Uh yeah, I did question it. Uncle Roger would not be happy with it. No, Uncle Roger does it, no? He does, but then it was weird because your finger method was weird because she measured the rice, but she said it was uneven, so she was measuring it. And then sometimes the water came up to here, sometimes it came up to here, so... Well, that's because I was calculating it throughout, knowing that one was higher, one side was lower. It was all calculated, and it came out perfect. Look at it. Damn. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I mean, I think the person who cooked it made it pretty good, too, so... It's all about the water-rice ratio. Oh, or whatever. Okay. All right. So we're gonna finish this up. I'm actually gonna, instead and of putting it on the barbecue. The bottoms of it. Ew. Instead of putting it on the barbecue, I'm gonna put it in the cast iron with a little bit of oil. Um, only because I gotta save the charcoal for the barbecue tonight. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. All right, that should turn out pretty good. It's kind of like that crispy rice trend right now. But crispy onikiri, mm. All right, we're gonna eat up right now. You wanna sit here? We'll see you guys right afterwards, but check it out. Jordan, you gonna bring your chair? It's kind of crazy how much rice you end up eating when it's in the shape of a triangle. Or onigiri for that matter. Or onigiri just in general. It's, it's amazing how much rice you eat. This was five cups of rice. Kind of crazy. Right. So it's amazing how much rice you consume when you do it in like a fun form, like a ball or a triangle or whatever it is. It's kind of crazy. But all right, we're going to eat now because we're starving. We'll see you guys in a little bit. It's dinner time. Um, I mean, we had a pretty filling lunch and we ate it kind of late. I'm going to get dinner ready if whoever's hungry can eat. Um, we might as well have the food out and then we'll do a little mukbang too So make sure you guys go check out the crunch bros because we're gonna do a mukbang So I'm gonna get the vegetables ready first and then I'm gonna get the charcoal and the grill ready for the meat and or the chicken and the steaks, okay? Peppers, onions, all done. All right, for now, I'm gonna get the charcoal and the barbecue ready for the chicken and the steaks. Chicken, this is the steak. Oh, you guys can't really see it. Steak and chicken. Let's start with the chicken. Check out this chicken, look at this chicken. 
Oh, that's gonna be good. So we'll get that going right now and then we'll do the steaks right afterwards. Well, the chicken's on the grill right now. I'm gonna start getting the uh, veggies going. For the veggies, I like seasoning it with this stuff. All right, let's go check up on the chicken and beef. Um. Cheers. Hmm. That was good. Right? Mm hmm Yeah, that's good. Good call guys. Thank you. Mm. That's so good. Late night camping snacks. This is what camping's all about. I gotta be quiet because everyone's kind of sleeping. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Oh, it's good. Mm. There's nothing better than this in the middle of the night, especially while you're camping. It's so good. Alright guys, so you guys, so you guys made it to the end, how was it? Leave a comment down below on what you thought was the best meal that we had there. I think it was the ramen. Jordan didn't get to eat it because he was sleeping. But I ate it! What was it? What ramen? You have to watch the video to find out because you fell asleep. It was in the middle of the night that he ate. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Boop, boop. You let ramen in the middle of the night? When? When, Daddy? Oh. When? I did. All right, we'll see you guys.